We are growing our capability as BP to exploit advanced materials technologies in our businesses and we can already see how they would make a big difference to our ability to develop high pressure, high temperature hydrocarbons, to separate uh, different fluids in our refining and biofuels businesses and to make better fuels and lubricants. So ICAM is looking really to harvest the knowledge base from the academic community both within the UK and globally. So the hub that's been placed at Manchester because of the expertise we've got here but also the way that we can work with the spokes. So the founding spokes are University of Cambridge, Imperial College and Illinois in the USA and it's the way that we work seamlessly across the spokes to harvest that knowledge base which will be a benefit to BP both in the short term and long term. We're investing in the ICANN because we see a great potential for a big bang for the bucks in terms of new materials developments that are going to impact our businesses. Over the last five to ten years, uh, research labs around the world, especially government labs, have moved on significantly. And as a consequence of that, there is a whole new world of technology developing. So we'd like to leverage that into BP. And so a good way of doing it is to reach out to excellent universities, the ones who are really at the top of their field, and work with them and slowly bring some of these capabilities inside BP. But we don't start at the back of the pack, we actually start up with the best in a partnership. The fantastic thing about ICANN is it brings together four universities with complementary skills. Manchester is particularly strong in the area of structural materials and in the corrosion of structural materials, being a world centre for corrosion. Imperial is a world centre for membrane technology. Cambridge has strengths in alloy design and in the chemistry of scales, which is a very important issue. And then the University of Urbana-Champaign in the state of Illinois has particular expertise in self-healing materials. The hub based at Manchester will essentially do three things. First of all, it will coordinate the research across the different centres, as well as undertaking research itself. Secondly, it will keep us at the cutting edge of science in the advanced materials area. And thirdly, it will provide an outreach facility which will provide education for BP staff and an opportunity for them to, to interface with the scientists on the ground who are actually doing research. ICAM isn't like most of the international centres I know. This is about a really hand-in-glove arrangement between BP staff and academic staff, with BP staff being involved at a day-to-day -day level in some of the research programmes. And in fact, BP staff will be part of the hub and the spokes, working with students hand-in-hand -hand to deliver new technologies and to exploit some of the scientific understanding that universities are very good at delivering. The partnership with BP works extremely well, and it works because it's a partnership, it works both ways. So with BP we're looking at how we can improve BP's business but also looking in the future what problems that they will be facing so that we can give BP the added advantage within the commercial world. I see two different types of outputs from the ICAM. The first is direct business benefits. Some of the materials, some of the analytical techniques that we're developing in the ICAM should be in the business's hands making an economic difference in 10 years. The second one is a little bit more abstract. The ICAM is going to provide us with knowledge that lets us address these problems better in the future. So when we see a problem in the future with what we've learned in the ICAM, we'll be able to zoom in, take a look at it, say, I understand that, and I know I need to take these steps to move forward to solve the problem. In 10 years' time, of course, I hope that the ICAM is doing great research in the universities we've already chosen and perhaps some others. But for me, that's not sufficient. What I also hope is that their discoveries and inventions will be brought inside BP, that we will develop them, build on them, turn them into products that we can use inside BP, and deploy those inside our businesses.